What's going on everyone? It's Joe DeLongbore and in today's video I'm going to answer the ultimate question. Battery or gas? So let's get started. So if you've been following my channel, you guys know that I've done a couple reviews now on the Toro Super Recycler right here, the Matte Black Edition. This has the Honda engine on it. I do like this mower. There are definitely some cons to this mower though. I've covered it in a previous video, but I'm going to cover that here uh, as well. Just a couple of the things that I think just, I can't believe that they make it this way and I really think they need to improve it if they haven't already. I don't haven't really done a ton of research on their newer mowers, but I'm going to point out this one here today because this is a very popular mower that's made by Toro. But today we're gonna do the ultimate test. We're gonna do battery obviously and gas. So the battery mower right here, this is the Toro 60 volt 21 inch wall mower. It, it definitely has some good features on it, but it has a ton of cons as well. I was not given this mower to me by Toro. I actually bought this on clearance over the winter time. I found this at a local Home Depot for only $200. The reason why this $200 mower was a steal for me was because of the battery. Now the batteries in these things are worth actually a lot of money. This is the 60 volt flex force battery. This goes in a huge lineup of different Toro products, blowers, string trimmers, string uh, edgers, uh, you name it. These batteries are very versatile. They go into a multitude of tools that Toro sells. So I wanted to pick this mower up just to give it a try. I've never had a battery mower before. Uh, and what do you know? $200, you can't beat that. Uh, I do like the battery. Uh, it's a it's a heavy battery though. It has uh, some weight to it. Uh, this is actually a 60 volt. This is a six amp hour battery, 324 watts. I know there are variations of this battery with the amp ampage uh, hours. So this again is the six amp one. From what I've noticed, it works fine. It works great. Again, you just slip that in there, click it down, and it's that easy. No gas just a battery, but again, there are definitely cons to this mower. So if you're not familiar with Toro's personal pace or their self-propelled system, it is called obviously personal pace. Now this is how it works, very simple. You push back on the safety lever, you start up the mower, and then basically what happens is the faster you walk, the more you're gonna wanna push down on this top bar right here, and it goes at your pace. So the faster you, that you walk, the harder you're gonna push down on this, the faster the mower is gonna go. That's with the gas version. Now the battery version right here, it's a little bit different. Now with the battery version right here, again, it's a self-propelled system. You push back on the safety bar. Again, you're not, you're not pulling anything because it's obviously a battery. You just have a push start right here. There's a little lever right here. So basically what happens is, is the harder you pull it in, the faster the mower goes. The, the, the more you release it, the slower the mower is gonna go. So it's not obviously a personal pace. It's a little bit harder. It's a little bit trickier than the personal pace. And I'm gonna show you one of the cons to this self-propelled system in a second. Obviously, one of the other things to point out is this has a mulching capability, has a bagging capability. The gas over here has a side discharge. You have your mulching capability, and obviously you have your bagger in the back. Now, the biggest thing that I've noticed with Toro mowers is the bagging ability, and I'm gonna show you that here in a second. My biggest thing with Toro mowers is the bagging ability. Now you can see here the bagger, it doesn't sit very level with the lawnmower. And what I mean is, is it kind of sits on an angle when it's on the mower. So those clippings are not going straight into the bagger. They're going, they gotta go up and into the bagger. That is my biggest thing. This is the battery version. I'm gonna show you this with the gas in a second. It's the same thing with the gas thing. It just, uh, I wish they made this better. I really did. Uh, I've used commercial mowers. You guys know that I've used commercial mowers and they sit pretty flush with the bottom of the mower. They're, they're filling up the back and working their way forward. I just don't like this at all. So again, here's the bagger, it comes off. What's really nice is it, it does, it almost has a mulching plug built into the flap right here. So all you gotta do is once you take your bagger off, this folds down, this clogs this up so you have the mulching capability. This is plastic guys, this is not metal at all. It's kinda, it's not cheap, it's hard plastic, but you could see there, that angle there, I just don't like that angle at all. Same thing with the gas version as well. If you notice, there is definitely an angle to the bagger. These clippings are not going straight back. They gotta work their way up, forward. Lots of times when I take this bag off, the clippings are sitting more towards the front of the bagger. They're not really filling up this bag a ton. So I'm gonna take this off so I can show you guys the inside of here as well. 
So I took off the bagger here and I'm gonna open this up. You can see here that the mulch plug isn't built into the plastic right here. This is plastic as well, hard plastic, but there's an actual plug that actually goes in here like this. Then you have to lock it in. That's your mulch plug right there so you can have the mulching capability. If you don't want it in bag, you just undo the, the little lock right there, take it out, and then you can throw your bag on. Couple more features that are different between the two mowers, obviously the gas and the battery. Over here, you have this flex system right here. What this does is it alleviates a lot of scalping in the lawn. Your handlebars will go up and down, but the deck of the mower will actually stay still. I think it really does work. I, I believe this in this feature. I've noticed it on my lawn. My lawn is not the most level lawn, and it really does work. Over here on the battery version, you have the self storage. So what you do is you flick these up, and then what you do, flick this down down flip these back and then you have the ability to stand this straight up so it's really great for small areas if you don't have a lot of storage you could stand this unit straight up which is awesome and if you've been noticing i do have the toro stripe kit on the battery mower which is really great is i can still stand this up with the toro striping kit on it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip the mowers around. We're gonna cut them both on the same setting. The blades are sharp. I did take them off. I sharpened both blades to give us a good control of how well they perform with super sharp blades. I'm gonna let you hear what they sound like and how well they cut. So let's get started. So to start the battery mower, all you have to do is pull down the lever right here. And then all you gotta do is press the power button right here. And now you hear it's on. Now we're gonna pull the lever back right here. And then the mower is gonna go. So obviously the personal pace, the gas power is a little bit different. You pull down on your safety bar right here, then you're pulling the rip cord, and then you're just pushing down. So here you have it, both sides, gas here, battery here. We have a strip right here in the middle so we can tell the difference. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference between the cut quality. I'm not taking a ton off right now because we're going into the summer months. And honestly, it looks pretty well, pretty good overall. I would say cut quality is there, but there is definitely a difference in speed between the both. The speed of the gas cannot match the battery now obviously this doesn't have a personal pace you're stuck with just going as fast as the lever goes and it's out honestly a pretty slow pace i can't go faster with a personal pace i can go faster obviously it's more powerful and it is gas i can go faster on the personal pace by pushing down harder i can slow down by releasing the pressure and the speed on the both is the biggest downfall in my opinion between the battery and the gas so here's a perfect example of the bagger and what I mean by it clogging up. So I just got done doing my front section right here and I'm gonna take off the bagger. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. And as you can see here, it definitely doesn't fill up the back of the bagger. I mean, it literally, I just tipped this off and you can see here, it's just sitting here in the front. Let me bring it in the light a little bit better. So what I mean about these clippings getting stuck in the front, you can see there, it's, it, it, it sits there real low on the bottom here. And it's not really pushing those clippings back because of that angle. And that's one of the reasons why I just don't like this bagging capability of the Toro. So I've talked about the Toro Super Recycler and the mulching capability in my past, and I really do love the mulching capability. It does a really good job at mulching. I actually really love the side discharge on it as well. I think it's a great handy thing to have, especially when the grass is tall and it's high. It's great to have it. I've done a TikTok video on the side discharge. I've been doing a lot of side discharging this year uh, on my lawn and it's came, it's come out really good every time. It's just that bagging ability. I hope Toro, I think they've fixed it. I'm not 100% sure. I've seen a couple videos out there that they switched up the, the bagging ability, but if they haven't, 
then for me, that's a really big downfall when it comes to their gas super recycler. Now, don't get me wrong, Toro does make a personal pace for their battery version. I just don't have a need for it. I don't have the budget right now to buy one. I would love to try one out maybe one day if I really want to really want to try the battery full force and not worry about gas. But for now, this one's fine. My son, he's only five. He really likes that. It works for him. It goes at a really slow pace for him. Uh, but for now, I'm going to stick to my gas. It cuts nice. Don't get me wrong. This cuts nice as well. It's just super, super slow in my opinion. Um, it's not worth the money if you're spending the full amount i think these retail for like 600 dollars brand new and i got it obviously for clearance at 200 then maybe look for a clearance version of this first before you actually spend the full price for it um you know and then you know get into more of the battery stuff but for now i'm going to stick with the gas what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an end of the year review of both these mowers because usually I swap these mowers out each week. Usually I do two cuts a week. I usually do one earlier in the week and then on the weekend. So I'll usually do the battery in the earlier in the week and then the gas on the weekend. So I get a good idea of how both these work. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the year when I do a end of the year review of both mowers. If you have any questions on today's video, please leave them down in the comment section below. Again, I'm not affiliated with Toro. This is 100% my own opinion. This is what I've experienced using using these both these mowers here today so please let me hear your thoughts on if you've used the battery or the gas one uh, let me know what you think about these mowers if you have them or similar mowers if you have the upgraded models let me know leave it down in the comment section below if you enjoyed today's video today make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel and if you're interested in any of my other content i'm available on instagram i'm available on tiktok go check me out there and like always guys i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.